When I saw the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6, I noticed something that no one else is talking about. Take a close look at this footage. What does it remind you of? The city is clearly inspired by Dubai, Muslim paradise on Earth. Paradise, you ask? Well, Let's compare Jannah, the Islamic version of heaven, to Dubai. In Jannah, Muslims spend most of their time deflowering horis, specially created, eternally virgin women. In Dubai, there are abundant yacht girls and prostitutes for the taking. And like the horis, the whiter the skin, the better. Oh yeah. In Jannah, Muslim women are an afterthought, left waiting in tents for their men to come visit them. In Dubai, too, it's all about what men want with little thought for women's needs. Aww. In Jana, there are rivers of alcohol, despite the beverage being sinful in Islam. In Dubai, alcohol is so abundant, it flows like rivers, despite being technically illegal. In Jana, servants attend to every need a man might have. In Dubai, every need is also met, supported by abundant slave labor. But isn't Islam against slavery? Absolutely not. Muhammad himself loved to buy, sell, and trade his many, many slaves. And the slave trade flourished in most of the Islamic world well into the 20th century, when the West finally forced it underground. And sold! So, GTA 6 will be set in a Dubai-like city, but does that really make it Islamic? Well. Consider this. The designers appear to have inserted Muhammad himself, in the process of a divine revelation no less, as a fun Easter egg. The revelation does not come to me when I am in the garment of any woman except Aisha. Still not convinced? Check out this stream for many more ways GTA 6 is clearly Islamic in nature.